Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the alignment tool in GIMP 2.10. Okay, let's go ahead and open up GIMP software. And we're going to create a new project here. And we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080. We'll click advanced options. And in here we'll set it to 72 DPI and fill with transparency. Everything else you can leave pretty much the same and we'll click OK. So we've got a blank canvas here. So we want to create a background color. And for now, we're just going to make it black, right? So you've got two swatches here. You've got the background and you've got the foreground here. So you might see different colors in these swatches. So just click on them. What I would advise is set the top one to white. So you see white at the top and then click on the background one and set that to a black color. And you can just use this little arrow tool here to switch between them. And we're going to switch it to black for now. And we're going to go to the paint bucket tool here. So you see bucket fill. So just hold down your left mouse button and go to bucket fill and then click here and you'll see a black background now. Nice black canvas, right? Now we're going to um, type in some text. So let's click on the text tool and we'll go to the canvas. I'm just going to type in alignment. Now you can see it's actually black text. So it's black on black, so you can't really read it. So we're going to press control A to select all of the text. And we can go to the color options here and set it to white. So now we can see the text in here and we'll go to the move tool. So hold down the mouse button here. You see move tool. So we can move this object around the screen. Now you might be making some sort of a YouTube thumbnail or a poster or some sort of design, but you want to get this piece of text exactly into the center point. So we could go ahead and create some um, uh, guides and we could align it via the guides, but it's much easier way to do this, right? So what we'll do is hold down our left mouse button on this move tool and select alignment align here and you'll get the line tools up here now as default we want to use the image alignment so we're going to select align relative to image and then we can click on the actual picture itself that's important and you see these little handles will appear in the corner so you know the image has been selected or the text it could be a picture could be a shape could be anything and now these tools will be available and we can align to the center like this Right, we can align it to the bottom, we can align it to the top, and sometimes I use this tool. So, just say if I want to align it to the left and maybe the center, but I want to bring it in a little bit, I use the alignment tool to make sure it's bang on the center on the right hand side or the left hand side here. Then just hold down the shift key, go back to the move tool, click on the image, hold down the shift key, and use the arrow key, and you can move it in slightly. But then you know your alignment is pretty good. If you just want it to be straight in the center, just go to the alignment tool here and click on the image and then just set it to the center point Now there's some distribution options here so i'm going to explain that but you need more than one object in order to use that so let's show you how that works okay let's first of all go ahead and click on this alignment tool and select the move tool and we want to hide this alignment here so let's just hide that text for the moment we're going to create a new layer so let's go ahead and create a new layer and it's just going to so i'm clicking on this button down here in the left hand corner here the bottom of the layer stacks here Let's click that and then we want to set the fill with transparency and click OK. So we've just got a basically a transparent layer here. We're going to click on this tool here and select the ellipse tool. And we're going to draw a circle, but hold down the control key and the shift key to constrain that circle, right? So we're just going to draw a nice round circle. Let's say around this size, it doesn't have to be exactly this size. We want to fill it with a color now. So let's go to our foreground color. And we'll select some color. Let's say we select red, for example, and click OK. So we've got the foreground is red. And now we we'll go to edit and we'll fill with the foreground color. So we've got a nice red circle there. And we're going to go to uh, the layer here and we're going to do crop to content. So we're going to select that option and then we're going to go to select and none. So when you crop to content, basically when you create a layer in GIMP, it's going to be the full size of this background or this, this black background. When you crop to the image, you can see the little yellow dotted lines. This now is cropped exactly to the size of this image. So this layer is actually this size right here. That's what we want. So we're going to duplicate this layer and then use the alignment tool to align these circles. So really we want to just duplicate this now. So let's click on this layer and the duplication tool here. Uh, let's see this one here. So we're going to duplicate it once, twice, three times and four times, for example. Right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five copies of this circle. Let's click on the move tool and we just grab these circles, right? Let's click on all of them one at a time. We can just move them about 
on the screen. So we've got five of them now in total. Let's go ahead and click on this uh, move tool and select the alignment tool again. And we're going to draw a box around these shapes around them. And we can set them to center. And we can click here and center. Now all of the boxes or the circles are exactly in the middle of the screen. Now we can distribute all of them. So we can click on distribute here and now we can have them aligned on the horizontal like this in the center of the screen. And we use these tools to move, right? So we can move them up, we can move them down and we can move them to the center. We can then recenter them. So we can click here, distribute all to the center and we can click this one to distribute them vertically like this. So we can experiment with this tool um, to see how we distribute these objects across the screen. Now, if we were to, let's say, um, for example, let's let's center them back out again, right? So let's distribute here back to this center point and you've got these offset options. Okay, so with the alignment tool, we've got these offset options here. So if I were to set this value to 100 and then distribute them horizontally, this gap will be much more narrow. So if I were to set this to a value of 200 and distribute them, you can see the gap starts to close down. So as we set this value, we use the distribution horizontal and we can close or increase those gaps. We can be very finite with this. We can set it to specific values like 330 and then we can adjust them. It's a nice way to quickly adjust the gaps but evenly space them out and have the, all of the objects centered in the screen. This is quite a powerful way of doing this rather than manually moving each object and trying to guesstimate where they should be positioned. Especially if you're doing any sort of pattern work. So if you're doing some textures or patterns or you want to create something you know, a bit different, then uh, using these alignment tools, you can easily align your objects uh, quickly and easily. So I want to set this to around uh, 340. Uh, let's say around 340. I think we'll be okay. Uh, you can use that same logic for the vertical as well. Let me just show you that. So I'll set this value back to zero. Let's set the let's let's uh, distribute to the center again. And on the Y, let's set it to let's set it to like a hundred, for example. And then we we'll distribute vertically. You can see they're stacked together and they're overlapping right now. So if I set this to a value of zero and distribute, there will be a gap in between them. You can set it to a higher number like 400 and then you can start to create some interesting shapes, right? You can have like these little sort of bulging shapes there. So let's undo that. Let's set this back to, uh, let's just drag this back into the toolbox here. Let's try and drag that back in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this um, back to a value of zero and let's select all of those objects Let's center them out again. Let's get them distributed to the center point and we'll do it on the horizontal, but we'll set this value to 330 and it'll be much more narrow. So what if we wanted to resize all of these objects in one go or move their position? So there's a couple of ways to do that, but the way that I find it easiest to do is to uh, create a group, right? Create a folder here, like a group, a bit like um, in Photoshop, right? You've got, you can create groups of objects. So we'll click on this little folder here and it's going to create this layer group. Let's drag it to the top and we're just going to take these objects and drag them into this folder. Let's drag them one by one into this folder. And then this group, um, we can make it behave as one object, right? So this is after you've done all your alignments, you set everything up and you're happy with the spacing. Now you can click, click on the group. You can see everything is selected inside of it. So now you can go to the move tool, for example, and you can move that object. So you can click it, hold down the shift key, and you can move all of those objects in one go. Now you've got your spacing sorted out. Uh, one thing we'll do, I think, is let's click on the alignment text. Let's show that text. And then let's go ahead and click on the layer group here, this layer group, and we'll press shift and S and we'll shrink them down. Let's make them nice and small. And then maybe we'll just sort of align them over here somewhere. And we'll click scale. And then we can click on the background. And we've got a nice little alignment text and we've got our dots aligned and they're evenly spaced. So you can create some branding, you can create some logos. You can be quite creative using the alignment tool. So you can see there's a process to it. We're trying to create our shapes first, align this text nicely in the center. Then we've got these little four dots and they could have been all different colors. Um, can really experiment and do lots of different things with the alignment tool okay so let's go ahead and go to file save as we might as well save our work since we're doing some work here and we just call this alignment dash 01 
let's save this let's go to file export as and we'll export this as a jpeg file and this will be our little alignment tutorial done let's save that and let's click export so we can close down gimp now and inside our folder we've got our original gimp file and then we've got our little alignment graphic here as well okay let's close that that's how you go about using the alignment tool in GIMP 2.10. I'll be making some more tutorials showing you how to use various tools. I think I'm going to try and go through each tool separately and then maybe do one big tutorial at the end to show you how maybe you can make some YouTube thumbnails or do something a bit more creative. Okay, I hope you find this tutorial useful. That's the alignment tool in GIMP 2.10. I'm using the latest version which is GIMP 2.10.18. Um, so I would advise that you download that current version because it's the most stable and it's got some new features in there. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.